Oh, look at these guys falling asleep. They're falling asleep on the job. Hello everyone, it is i7s, and this is module 6.1, Critical Thinking Concepts number 2. As I said with the other uh, concepts video, we will be tackling different uh, critical thinking solutions to problems in uh, oxygen not included. And in this one, we're going to be looking at how to kind of sort of start with a deep freeze build. For those that don't know, in this game, you can store food in a refrigerator, but there's ways to store it a lot better. But we're not going to go over the entire build. We're going to keep this nice and simple. This is kind of more of, a, of an episode about gases in a way, um, but kind of like a, a way to kind of trick the game a little bit. So what do we have here? Well, let's pretend this is your base and here's your duplicates. And this is where you're gonna wanna put the hydrogen because when you make a deep freeze chamber, you're gonna wanna use um, a gas, not like oxygen. You're gonna wanna use uh, something like hydrogen. I think you can also use carbon dioxide or chlorine, but we're gonna use hydrogen. I like hydrogen because of this one little trick we can do. So if you have oxygen in the space, and let's pretend that this is a source of hydrogen that you have nearby. Maybe it's from a geyser, maybe it's in a biome. Let's just pretend that that is the case. And I'm going to use sandbox mode, but it's the same thing. You get your duplicates to build a pipe, and then you're going to want to build it like really close. Maybe here, maybe even here, but let's build it here. And the reason that we're going to build it right here is that when you build this chamber and you're going to want to fill primarily these up with hydrogen and then these two with metal tiles um, we're going to end the pipe right here and i'm going to show you what's going to happen when we pump in the hydrogen into here we also will need a gas vent and now let's take a look at what happens all right so as we can see i'm going to speed it up a, just a little bit the hydrogen is coming. I'm going to turn it off right about now. All right, so pop quiz. What do you think is going to happen when the hydrogen gets dispensed out right here? And we have oxygen right here and here. And, and, and the whole area is oxygen. What do you think is going to happen? Is it A, going to go up, the hydrogen? B, going to go down? Or C, stay right in the middle. Place your guesses and put them in the comments if you're brand new to Oni. And don't look it up. Just try and figure it out. Well, let's see what happens. So we're going to switch over to the material tab and the uh, pink tiles. That is the hydrogen. And the light bluish whitish tiles is the oxygen. Let's see what happens. It went up. Yes, a few kind of escape here and there, but it went up. It took out all of the oxygen that was right there and essentially pushed it out so that the hydrogen could go right there. So now, what's the benefit of this? Well, let's say you wanted to make this into the cooling chamber and you need hydrogen in there. You can now use, I would recommend gold, and uh, you would make metal tiles and you would put it there and there. And then if you look, you have hydrogen there. Now, yes, you do have some hydrogen out in your base, and that can be a little bit difficult to get rid of, but you now have this. And then you can go tell your duplicates to destroy this stuff. And then once that is destroyed, you can then um, build the bottom part of it. Wow, this, Amari, you're kind of a slow destroyer. Um, you can put these back and so now you have created a uh, Space that is completely fine and safe and everything now a couple of notes of what I didn't want to make this too complicated But a couple of notes of what you're going to want to do if you're going to turn this into a deep freeze section is you're going to want to probably go ahead and put some um, radiant pipe already in there and then since you're going to be using shipping, you're going to want to also probably have your conveyor chutes in there. 
You're going to want to also have your conveyor rails in there and uh, the auto sweepers. What you're going to want to do is auto sweepers at a certain angle can hit this spot right there and also right there because there's not a block right here. So you can put them right there. You could put this one right there so it's separate. Bada bing. And this is uh, the starting point of creating a room that is completely fine um, and can house your food without using a refrigerator. So that is my recommendation. Um, the main gist of this one was just to show you how gases, you know, you, you might just think that all the gases are just kind of going everywhere all at once, but they actually have a way to utilize them in different ways. So, uh, I'm Sevens. If you like this kind of stuff, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Bye.